up, everybody? My name is Jay Pelusic, and I'm here with High School Headquarters. We are covering Game On, the mental health mini convention for cosplaying and gaming. So we are right next to the Russell House Ballroom, where this convention is taking place. We're just going to head on in and show you guys what's going on. All right, so we're going to get started with our panel, since you've now met our panelists. So my first question is, what are some common misconceptions or stereotypes about gaming and cosplay? What's up, everybody? So I'm here with Caitlin Hanshaw. She is a grad student working with Student Health Services. Is that right? So what is your whole role here with the mini-convention? Um, I actually planned this event, me and my supervisor, April Scott. Um, we wanted to do an event that um, reached different populations of students on campus that maybe don't normally know about our services or hear about our services and do an event catered towards them and kind of get rid of some of the misconceptions with mental health and with cosplay and gaming so that was kind of the purpose for our event. So what is your stance on the mental health of like that gaming has on people? Do you feel like it hurts people? Do you feel like it helps people? What's your stance? Um, I think it's like any hobby. It can be harmful if you do it too much or if you ignore other aspects of your life to do your hobby. But it can also be really beneficial, especially in building a sense of community. So, so a, couple, a couple of common misconceptions about gamer, gamers in general is that we all are a bunch of nerds. Well, we are, but we're also awesome. But a couple of them is that we're antisocial. I would say that's arguable because I look in the room, we're a bunch of gamers too, right? We've been here for a while, and our love for video games is what brought us near each other. So if it's making us antisocial, then why are we hanging out with each other? It is something that's definitely been targeted by the media the last couple of weeks, especially with various incidents and people want to blame everything on video games. I personally completely disagree with that notion. I believe that gaming is just as therapeutic as a enjoying your favorite movie, for example. Like, I've, if I've had a long day, I just want to sit at home and I want to play Pokemon. Like, I'm not going to lie about that. Or if I'm out waiting for a, at the bus stop, waiting for a bus, I'll go look at my Pokemon Go Plus and I'll be like, oh, I can catch a Pokemon right now, or something like that. Um, honestly, I think games and cosplay affect people's mental health pretty positively. Um, it can be pretty therapeutic, um, can help build a sense of community, Hello. stuff like that. Yeah. So, here at high school we focus mainly on games. Do you game a lot? Yeah. Awesome. So what kind of games do you like? Um, well, I really like, um, I play a lot, of, I play Persona 4 a lot. Um, I've worked my way through Persona 5. I play games like Stardew Valley. Um, I really like uh, Love Life's Little Festival. It's really addictive. Um, let see, I like to play a lot of fighting games. I'm, pretty much I have the whole spectrum covered. Um, currently working on Metal Gear Solid 3, too. Or 3 as well. I, I... I grew up in the video game generation, had, a, had an NES when I was a kid, um, 64, Xbox, PlayStation, you know, whole shebang. I'm getting back into fighting games. Awesome. What's your favorite fighting game? Yeah, of all time, my favorite is Capcom vs. SNK2, but right now, I'm getting into Injustice 2. Nice. What about cosplay? Have you done cosplay before? Um, I have done cosplay. I made my own costume once. It was a dress um, inspired by Gudetama. But I also bought cosplays. Um, that's mainly what I do. Um, I bought a Sword Art Online Asuna cosplay. Nice. So, I see that you are cosplaying, is that correct? Correct. Who might you be cosplaying as? I am cosplaying as Byakya Tagami from Dankanarampa. Awesome. <clears throat> It's a video game slash anime series. Mm -hmm. I even brought the main villain Monokuma with me. Coolness, coolness. So why'd you choose to pick this character to cosplay out of the whole cast of the game? Well, first off, he's probably the easiest out of the main original main cast. I had most of the clothes in my closet. Mm -hmm. I'll be straight up honest with you. So that worked out very well for me. As far as the cosplay community goes, that it can pretty much stretch all over the board from cosplayers or stuck up, cosplayers or you know, just doing it for the attention. Um, I've heard cosplayers very cliquish, I've heard cosplayers are very antisocial as well. It's there's pretty much not an instance I haven't heard at this point about cosplayers. And it's something that just isn't true. 
So what do you think this negative stigma comes from uh, that people think that games and cosplay are somehow harmful to your mental health? Where is that coming from? Um, I honestly think it just comes from misunderstanding. Like, people see something they don't know about or they don't understand, and they automatically just brand it as, this is bad, this is this is not good for your mental health. And it's like, you have to really get into it and understand it to understand why it's a positive thing. I would say the stigma around it probably lies under the idea that, and again, this is more so for like young, younger gamers in particular, especially when we were growing up, a lot of people have said, Oh, it's video games, they're just for kids. But you look nowadays and see that those kids grew up to be gamers and be more fluent and more vocal in their opinions on games. So it's gotten to be more of a not so much for kids anymore. Now you can make games for the general population. And so part of it stems from the idea that gamers, especially when they're growing up, like my, myself especially, because I come from a less than ideal upbringing. I found gaming as an escape and I started becoming antisocial. And like I said in the panel earlier, the reason why I'm more social with gaming and more vocal about it is because when I came to University of South Carolina my freshman year, I'm like, oh my gosh, there are other gamers. I would love to be a part of this and get more involved with the community around it. Um, I think a lot of it comes from media because like a study gets published and then when we read a study, we don't usually, like unless you're in college, you don't get to read the study itself and pull it up on a database. You just hear what like 60 second snippet the media takes from it. So you don't actually get to read the things for yourself. So then like it gets turned into like, oh, this is a short fact, like games related to violence or something like that. Even though it's not true, that's what people hear and that's what people remember. With so many people showing up to attend, it was a fantastic night for gamers all over the campus. This has been High School Headquarters with our wrap-up of game-related news here on campus.